was all, <laughs> that was fantastic. You know, Kim Christoph, dude, he's dying. I mean, <laughs> these guys were feeding around in the, in the dark three or four rounds ago. Well, <laughs> now they're sitting, they're playing on the biggest stage, they're playing in the final, and they're playing the poker. It's I mean, I mean, forget the footballer aspect of it. That was one of the plays of the tournament. Uli Stein has given a huge shot in, in, in the German arm just to restore their momentum. The Germans still have three men left. I just went, do you have, how much money do we have to give Mad Martin? Just tell him just freeze the blinds for a couple of hours. <laughs> Let's just sit back and enjoy. Actually, you almost never you, know, you don't often get the chance to see uh, you know, so many top-class players uh, at the table at the one time. Yeah. Playing for their country just in case anybody thinks they're messing about. Raised 13,000 total. Pass. Jurgensen's done a lot of raising of the German blinds, and uh, now he's... Picked up a very big hand. And, oh, this is a bit unlucky for Lothar, as a matter of fact, all Mark. In. We yeah. raise all in on a call. Well, you can hardly blame Lothar for that. He's expecting Theo to make this kind of move with just about any hand. Well, as it turns out, Lothar Landauer has more than double Theo Jurgensen's chips, Parg. So it is Theo all in. And, uh... Well, Lothar's still have only a 5-2 to two shot. So, you know, it's not a bad move to make with the ace-queen. No, the reason Lothar made this, this move is obviously not he's, he's not dreadfully in love with an ace queen, although it did get from two to the final. But he knows that Theo is liable to have uh, very very little for this move. Well, Landauer needs an ace. He's got two cards to catch, and uh, this would make Germany very strong, as it would knock Theo Jurgensen out of the game. If it doesn't hit, Denmark's going to go one and two in the chip count. Right. And that's opened up a couple outs. Five was, mm. Five was a, a very acceptable to Lothar. <laughs> Mad Marty pointing that out to Theo, who could only grunt. Ten. Flop, turn, and river oh, yeah. have survived. And, uh, Park, uh, like you said, uh, that kind of re-raise by Lothar had, has sort of been building for the last... Uh, I don't know, a couple rounds at least. Well, we have been saying, you know, when, when you're playing an aggressive game like Tio and you're all over the place and you're raising with maybe some hands other guys wouldn't and you're bringing everything in for a raise, you're always raising on the button. One of the benefits of that play is, like, if you only break even at that, it's really, really good because when you do pick up a big hand, uh, guys are going to remember all the other stuff you were at and you're, you're liable to win a, a pot with a hand that maybe uh, against a guy who probably wouldn't put so many chips in against somebody else. Gus Hansen, Teal Jurgensen, the only two Danes left, but now in a strong position, about, well, about nearly 400,000 between them. Uli Stein is the only one who's won a pot of significance off either players in an awful long time, and he had to go all in with an ace high on the turn to do it. That's exactly what happened. Raised to 16,000 total. Limp in from Uli Stein. And now quadruple the bet here from Lothar Landauer. And uh, Gus Hansen stacking his chips up. Lothar may get just what he needs, which is uh, a race with the ace king. I don't know what Gus has. He's got a pair of them. He's got an ace queen park. This is huge for Germany. Plus. This is massive. Just when we said the Danes were chipping away and avoiding the big knots. <laughs> Lothar Landauer all in, but uh, we very well could see Gus Hansen cut in half here. And uh, this pot, massive for the Germans. There's 192,000 out there. We could have a new chip leader. But if you want a guy to play the ace-queen against the ace-king for you, this is the man. <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly on everybody's short list. Three hearts out there. Ooh. Gus Hansen has the I, ace I of hearts. Know which, ace, which heart I have. Any ace, any heart. Why? Any queen, any heart, pardon me. Anything else, and Lothar Landauer is going to double up. That's no change. It's taken away a lot of the split pots. All of them, in fact. And 
the river. It is a heart! Uh, yeah, a hell. Very hard card for Germany, Park. Well, Lothar's taken down two huge hits there. I mean, not much you could do about either of them. Unlucky. That one was particularly cool. No, he's... Unlucky, Lothar. Lothar, give your armbands to somebody, please. The German captain, Park, he has led the team this far. He has led the team with great distinction, Jesse. I mean, he's, uh, he's been damn near the player of the tournament, the way he's... You know, the way he's put this raggle taggle team together, you gotta like it. But Gus Hansen, the Danish captain, has taken away Germany's biggest threat. Looking at that hand, Landauer finally got them in in a great situation against Gus Hansen. And uh, the heart on the river made them both a flush, but the ace flush higher. And all of a sudden, Denmark just stormed. Well, it's heartbreaking for Lothar. He's, uh, he's had ace-king turned over by ace-queen. Uh, after just a few minutes ago, having ace-queen beaten by the two kings. And absolutely nothing he could do in each situation but get his money in. And um, some, days it's, some days are good days, and some days are just uh, medium days. Lothar, my heart goes out to you. That, that was heartbreaking. It was. It was. I mean, uh, you had gotten in a very good position and then those two hands so quick, they really played themselves for you, the ace-queen yes. the ace-king. Absolutely. If there's nothing I can do, I just did what I have to do. And I was uh, unlucky, especially at the last hand. Well, Lothar, you've led this German team with such great poise and distinction. And uh, I think, you know, you're giving the baton now to Tony and to Uli. And uh, can they pick it up the pieces here? I mean, I hope they can, 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 can make it for the German team. I mean, I won the last two heats, so it's up to them. It's, it's a team event, so I, I just rely on them now. The equalizer has left this two by two. It was chip chop chap for Lothar Landauer, and all of a sudden, the Danes on the move between Uli Stein and Tony Varjavan. They've got a mountain to climb now if they mean to take these Danish Titans. No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com. Just two left on the home team. Just a deuce of braces in the wayside. Well, Germany went ahead, went nil in this match, but Denmark has scored the equalizer and they have possession. Gus Hansen, Theo Jurgensen, spots one and two. What does Germany have to do, Park? I surrender if you've got a good idea. <laughs> negotiate terms. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's 1992 all over again. Yeah, we'll Denmark are two nil up. And we're, just, we're moving we'll towards 90 minutes. Um, it's very, very hard to see Germany getting out of this, but there could be one, just one last twist left in this. I mean, the, the Danes have come from, from way behind in this heat to take a commanding lead, but the Germans, the Germans need something to happen fast. You know, we, Tony, we, he's been rock solid the whole tournament, but he's, he's down to 40,000, and you've got to think he's probably Germany's big hope. Total. It's a big ask of a man with even a yes. heart as big as Uli to take on two world-class players at their game. Well, we, we, saw Denmark, we, we saw Denmark have a very strong position in their quarterfinal match against uh, Ireland and then, and then uh, seemed to, to make it look hard, but they just got a different feel about them tonight. Part, and against mean. Ireland, the guys were just playing around, watching <laughs> Theo and, uh, what do you call that, the ball guy? Oh, yeah, Gus, <laughs> and playing around. You know, I was watching a couple of little lion cubs just playing around, <laughs> having a bit of fun, but it's all business here for the final. And uh, to be fair to these Danish teams, I mean, they've, they've been the heart and soul of this tournament. And uh, I'm not taking anything away from the, the Germans, but I mean, to be the inaugural winners of this event, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for anything better than the Danes. I mean, they've been brilliant. They've I mean, provided the entertainment, the, the skill, some absolutely wonderful poker, and uh, they've played this game in the spirit of which it was supposed to be played. They're, they're a credit to the game wherever they go this lot. They have, uh, Germany have taken out three of the toughest teams in this tournament in England, Sweden, and Holland, but uh, cool. right now, their backs are against no, the wall. Why yet. Well, you know, it's indicative of how well Germany have been playing in this tournament that they 